So we're here talking about your story, your journey, mm -hmm. uh, and like so every time we meet, um, you know, we want to talk about kind of like how things are going for you. And then so in that, like uh, tell me a little bit more about like your your background with okay. your struggle with uh, obesity okay. and what led you to here. So for example, right now I own my own business. So I have a daycare okay. and there's times when parents will walk in Mm -hmm. and they'll check out my, my services, they'll see the daycare, mm -hmm. and they love that I have cameras everywhere that they can access their children and see, that they can see their children throughout the day. But they kind of take a step back and they just stare at me and they're like, oh, well, what is my child gonna be eating? Mm -hmm. Like, are you gonna do the standards that a child would eat in school? Uh -huh. Like, that makes me feel like I'm less of a human Right. because I am overweight and right. they think that I can't care for their children right. the way I would normally care for right. any child. Which is absolutely not the case. And it has nothing to do with the curriculum I follow or anything like that, right. you know? Right, And it's just like the false perceptions of society yes. with obesity. And it's really, uh, it's really something. Yeah. That, and there's yeah, also times... Issues. There's also times like, um, you know, um, I'll meet people, like if I meet a person, they automatically think that an obese person is not as smart mm -hmm. as any normal person would be with you um, because I'm overweight. So like society has shown me that if I'm overweight, then I don't look, I don't fit a certain mold that I'm supposed to fit with every other individual and I am not as bright or as smart mm -hmm. as every other individual. Right. Um, when I was a child, I would I go home and cry every night because the kids would bully me because I was overweight and mm -hmm. they tried to get on diets and they tried to change it and I would lose the weight just to gain it back and to be on that boat again. Right. And then as a teenager, like, um, guys would talk to me, and I felt like I was just an easy prey because they could fool me, like, they could, like, take advantage of me, I guess you could say. Right. It wasn't really for my personality, you know? Right, right. Yeah, you know, like, uh, all this stuff with obesity and, you know, like, people have this false conception of obesity that it's a problem of will mm -hmm. and it's really not a problem of will obesity is a medical problem and there are medical solutions for this problem um, and people would think like oh like people have never tried to lose the weight right. it's absolutely not true people have tried they tried very hard mm -hmm. it's like with all these pressures of society and all the you know uh, perceptions that people have it's like nobody chooses to be obese. Mm -hmm. Everybody is looking for an answer, a way out. They hit the gym and even getting to the gym is hard for people too because again, that societal pressure and right. the judgment and all that stuff, which is completely false. Yeah. And then what people don't understand with bariatric surgery is that on a medical level, on a biologic level, it corrects some of those imbalances that people have that lead them to this point in their life. Um, so yeah, your, your, your story is very, it's very common. I appreciate you sharing it. I know it's hard to talk about, um, but I think it's good for people to know that, you know, like you're not alone. You're not the only person who's gone through this. Um, and you're not the only one that's seeking help. And a vast majority of people who are eligible for bariatric surgery actually never undergo it or seek help mm -hmm. because of that society and that just misperception uh, mis uh, of what it is and what it does and right. who people are, which is like completely absurd. Yeah. Um, even, again, even doctor in my family, uh -huh. when I opened up to say, 
hey, you know, um, this is the procedure I'm planning on taking mm -hmm. and doing for my body, for my health. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were like, what? Why? Why, Why are you going to risk yourself right. having a surgery? Right. Why would you do Like, my own mother is not very <laughs> happy with the idea, but really? yeah. I'm an adult. I'm a grown-up, and I have to take my life into my own hands. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a wealth of information about how this surgery helps people. It extends life expectancy. It decreases the chances of cancers, resolves medical conditions, even like diabetes and things of that sort yeah. that people get. Uh, about 30% in the long term have a resolution of their diabetes, but in the short term, like 70 to 80% will have yes. improvement in their diabetes and things of that sort. Um, so it's much more than an aesthetic thing. It's much, obesity is much more of a problem than just a problem of will. Um, and again, like the important thing is that there is, there is help. And when you look at all the patients who undergo the procedure and that are successful in the long term, and you know, like how it completely changes their lives, you really get the understanding of what obesity really is and uh, how you could treat it and how it helps. Like I always love seeing my patients come back, you know, and as they're losing weight and they're so happy and their lives are completely, you know, you see it in the way people walk and the way people talk and you know, it's amazing. And, we're gonna get you there too. Yay. We're gonna get you too. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of uh, document your new thing. year, new me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You're just in time. You're just in time for the new year. Yeah. So, what about your support system? What about like family and any uh, judgments there? Or how's that? Yeah. Been? Um. So I have close family members that will be like. Well, you're kind of just taking the easy way out. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to risk so many things during this surgery so that you can just have a quick fix. Mm -hmm. That's what they usually use, Thanks. the word they usually use, the right. quick fix. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I've struggled all of my life. I didn't, if, if I took a quick fix, then I would have already fixed it. Right. And it's not. It hasn't been easy, and it hasn't been you know, a joyful journey for me. Right. So here I am because I know I need help and I know that you could probably help me. Right, right. And that's, yeah, and that's where kind of bariatric comes in. Um, it really helps lose that weight, keep it on, be successful in the long run, really change the thing, association with weight loss that mm -hmm. people have where people think it's, you know, impossible and they can't do it. Um, and that's the other thing when we come to these bracelets, these Journey Strong bracelets that we do here at uh, my office. So, um, you know, weight loss is a journey. Mm -hmm. And so we created these bracelets that say Journey Strong um, and with the Bariatric Guru logo on it as well. Because this process is a journey and it's not easy. Mm -hmm. It takes effort, it takes time. It's not the quick fix. It's not an easy process. Mm -hmm. I mean, make it as easy as possible because <laughs> that's what we do. Yeah. Um, we try to make the surgery painless and we do a lot of enhanced recovery pathways for like my patients in particular. I like I do um, helps really minimize the pain and like makes the experience more enjoyable, but it's still not a, an easy quick fix. You have to participate, you have to do the diet, you have to do the weight loss, you know, you have to do the exercise. What people don't understand is people think like, oh, like I'm gonna go do this surgery and I'm gonna get skinny and that's it, which it's really not the case. Okay. It's not the surgery itself. The surgery itself is a tool and it helps with the weight loss. So, and, and that's another misconception that people have that it's easy and it's, no, it takes, it still takes that same will, that same drive. Mm -hmm. It's just, you have this very powerful tool right. that helps you get there. And this is actually a powerful tool too, because yeah. when I've had the the outings with my family, or when I go to a family event and they have food that I am not supposed to eat, and I'm like being tempted, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I can always like look back at my um, bracelet and think to myself like, no, you know, I'm gonna have bariatric surgery, mm -hmm. and this is what I'm supposed to eat. I yeah. stay away from the bad stuff. Good. No matter how so good they smell or how good they look, you know, because uh, it's a reminder. Yes, good. and it reminds me, you know, you have to work out, you have to be on top of your A game, so that way 
my great surgeon <laughs> could have a six, another success story. Right, yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. Uh, and that's great, I'm glad to hear that, that, it, that it helps. And like, you know, that's why I made these, the bracelets as well. Cause it's a good reminder, it's on your wrist when you're reaching out there to grab something and you're like, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah. And when you're at the gym, you like push yourself a little harder and do a little more. Um, and again, like weight loss is a journey and we, we journey strong together. Like it's a, it's a process. Like and I'm here for you every step of the way beforehand. And as the surgery, like during the surgery, after the surgery, we're gonna do this together. And it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a great <laughs> journey. Um, do you have any other like questions or comments? Anything you wanna tell anyone? Um, yes, I actually, I feel like if, if this is something that you wanna do, if you've tried everything, um, all the diet trends, everything you can possibly do and you feel like it's never enough or you need someone to lend you a hand and like pull you out of this rut that you feel you're in, then go ahead and speak to Dr. Sepper because he has so many options and you know, he's like that light at the end of a dark tunnel. So, Thank you. yeah. I appreciate that. But I appreciate you taking the time to be here and to do this with me. And I look forward to following your process and your journey throughout the process. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll catch you guys later. <laughs>